candy plums have resurfaced the internet so today i'm going to be showing you how to make them in my heavy duty pot i have my candy thermometer four cups of sugar three cups of water and one cup of k-ro nicely combined and i'm going to be cooking my candy mixture on this of course new wave induction cooktop y'all better get y'all one link in the description box we'll be cooking this mixture on medium high heat until it reaches 300 degrees on the candy thermometer i have cleaned my plums and i have also inserted my wooden sticks inside of the plums you want to make sure that you insert it alongside of the seed that is in the middle of the plum our candy mixture is ready i am going to carefully remove the candy thermometer and i am also going to add my flavoring oil gel food coloring along with a little wilton white icing color not too much of the wilton white because you know it will ruin the consistency of your candy mixture the flavoring oil that i'm using is the raspberry you can add a drop three drops five drops i really kind of just wing this honestly i'll just add however much my soul says to add <laughs> And you're gonna stir that in and then you're gonna add in your colors while adding in these ingredients just a few pointers um, a few things to keep in mind when you're making candy plums just remember that this is a perishable um, food item and they do not last long at all they break down super fast i would not recommend that you keep these in the refrigerator overnight when you make them you want to get them out as soon as possible also because this is a fresh fruit that we did not freeze the wooden stick slides out super easily while dipping so you just really have to be careful um, and hope for the best honestly when making plums Make sure you combine your colors in very well until you get rid of the little dark blue streaks and the white streaks. Y'all, this blue is just so pretty. I love it. I love dipping with blue. All right, so we're gonna take a plum. And instead of like rotating it quickly, we're gonna rotate it slowly if you can, because when that plum hits that heat, it likes to slide off the stick. So that's why I said you gotta keep in mind that this is a per perishable fresh fruit and it's very juicy. So once it gets in that heat and that stick gets to slide and you gotta kind of know how to act fast to get that plum out as quickly as possible. Upon dipping this particular plum, I knew that I was not going to be able to rotate it at all. I more so had to just simply dip it and maneuver it out of the liquid because if I would have twisted it at all, it would have fallen into the candy mixture. I had a dream last night. Last night. Did everything I never do in real life. I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet. Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away. Wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why While dipping this one, the third stooge, it literally fell off the stick as I was sitting it down on the parchment paper, y'all. Listen, I was so happy that I was able to avoid it from drowning in the candy mixture so happy and that is how you dip candy plums hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot and i tried to keep it honest with y'all let y'all know the real deal with this particular treat it ain't all peaches and cream with this one all right so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comment section i try my hardest to answer all y'all's questions and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content like so and turn on those bell notifications and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye she can make all
the problems disappear She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and that she could rely Of a little lies to tell yourself a lie 